addicts. We're two gay drug addicts who are yeah. fucking <laughs> trying to string a, a sentence together. <laughs> Minneapolis, Buffalo, Detroit, we are coming your way. New tickets on sale for KFC Radio Live, the 2023 tour. One show! The one show tour! Yeah, exactly one show. Not zero, not two. One. one. All tickets available at the KFC Radio social media channels. Go get your tickets today. We're in Dallas tonight. Austin Saturday. Again, I don't know what the ticket levels are. Wilbur, Boston. I think, I don't know. Stanford, Connecticut. Uh, I don't know. Um, but the big ones, Detroit, Buffalo, you go on sale tomorrow. Detroit, Minneapolis are on sale now. Code KFC. Go get tickets. When you are deciding if you're like coming out and you're struggling with it or whatever, do, you, do guys ever like. You just mentioned a, a butch chick. Is there ever any thought of like, let me dabble in that world and see, like, if yeah. I like that? Um, no, I just went straight for A-Rod the cock. did it. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, A-Rod, just come out of the closet, dude. Stop I knew I liked uh, it. I wanted a cock, boomers. and that's what then they were lacking. They can dress all the boy clothes they want, play all the softball or You or, just or, wanted or, the or, dick. Or tonsil hockey. What is it called? Yeah, I just wanted that dick. That's how I met the, um, the bookshop teacher. <laughs> I thought you were going to say contact Kim. No. <laughs> that dick's too big for me. He goes, Have you ever dated a butch chick? that dick's too big for me. A butch chick? Yeah, who was it? The girl I lost my virginity to was Portly. Yeah. <laughs> well, she also had her period in the front seat of your dad's car. Chevy Trailblazer 2005. He got in the next day to go to work. And smelled, smelled, I, smelled catfish. <laughs> smelled cat- <laughs> and I went out. I was like drunk. I went home drunk. Uh, I drove home drunk. <laughs> I was young. And I had to go with carpet cleaner because it was like the tan thing. And I was like. It was, it was period my, on a tan so my dad, like, fabric. my poor father drove to work the next day um, in a period stained car because his faggot son. <laughs> decided that he needed to lose his virginity to make sure he was gay and then he was too drunk and lazy to clean the period off of his dad's seat so his dad drove in there with period on the car i have to bleep that one out and he was late to the radio shack that day correct yes yeah. tale as old as time you know a, a true it was, it was really radio shack no, no. no. It was taco bell uh, like for it was, oh man, that is fucking. Dude. That is. I just picture you being like, "Ew, gross!" I, can't I was so disgusted. Right. Like, yeah, like, well, maybe that's why you're gay. Probably. It was maybe if you fucked a girl who wasn't on her period, you wouldn't have been so turned off by the vagina. Yeah, she. If I fucked like, somebody and they were bleeding all over, I, I might have been. I might have turned gay too if I, the first vagina I fucked <laughs> bled everywhere. I think oh. it was not like bleeding everywhere, but I remember after she was very oh, adamant, clearly like, coming over to like clean up her, her dorm day. and like cuddle and I was it was so foreign to me I was like what do you on what planet do you think I'm gonna go cuddle with you you pig like why I'm, would you I'm have sex using you you, you idiot <laughs> but why would you have sex yeah. in the car and then go like, yeah where else am I gonna have sex why would you have dorm. sex in the room if you can cuddle in the room why can't you fuck in the room I guess you can cuddle in front of people you can't cu- you can't fuck in front of people oh yeah. well, maybe I don't know <laughs> I don't know why it was I'd probably rather fuck in front of people than like but go I cutie yeah. the car yeah that's I've super weird too I've never I got a blowjob one time I got roadhead once like a C and it was like it was like like fucking Tommy, not Tommy Boy, Black Sheep, where yeah. it's just like, I mean, I was on a highway going to Canada. I was going 20 times. Oh, you were driving yeah. on was, the highway? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were just in the, left, in the, in the right just lane. Like, just like, like, I mean, it was, I was driving impossibly slow. Oh, God. <laughs> it took me. I mean, yeah. having Dude, sex I, I while you're we, driving is insane. I think, I think we changed you, states you, before You can I get came. head, but you can't. You fucking. didn't tell him to go faster? Oh I yeah, no, I was just getting ahead. I wasn't driving. Oh, I was okay. No, I think, no, no, I think no, no, I was no, no, no. I wasn't driving. fucking. Roadhead, sa- shower sex. These are all things you can, you know, you check off your list, and you're like, we don't need to do these ever again. Yeah, <laughs> you know, shower sex is the worst because you have to use so much conditioner. Somebody, <laughs> <laughs> you still have conditioner is the greatest lube in the world. Well, you know, so it's, and I had for jerking off at least. I don't know about fucking. It burns my dick. Really? Yeah, conditioner, yeah. I've tried the shampoo, fuck shampoo does, ones, but I've never tried the fuck. Conditioner is amazing for the dick. Especially if you get one of those um, those um, those, those uh, heat protecting masks. <laughs> she knows. She's got <laughs> now she has color treated hair. <laughs> Jackie keeps just zoning out and popping yeah. back in real quick. If you do that to when when these two podcasts get together, if you zone in and out, which uh, a lot of people listen to podcasts, it's probably a, a weird listen because oh, yeah. <laughs> you'll just come back in to hear some shit that Confusing. you did not expect to fucking hear. Yeah. Um. Uh. Uh. Somebody who somebody recently. Oh. Uh, Christina Aguilera on Ooh. Call Her Daddy. What did she have to say? Um, Alex was Christina like... Christina Aguilera was on Call Her Daddy? Yeah. First and wow. only podcast she's ever done. Really? Christina, yeah. And Alex was like, okay, like now it's time to talk about sex. 
And she's like, let's. She and she was kind of like, ooh, okay, let's get, get dirty. Out. And it was, <laughs> it was a very, it was like not. It kind of made me wonder if like her whole, what her whole. Yeah. Bottom line, she said, "What's like your favorite position and sex and all that?" And she said, "Shower sex." And I was like, "That's the re- that's the response of like someone who's never had sex before." Yeah, it's a <laughs> no one in the world says that shower sex is their favorite sex, except for like the fifteen year old who's pretending that they've had sex had before. Sex. You know, <laughs> and like her whole it was like she was like, you know, I kind of like everything yeah. and like. You know, like spooning from behind. The twist, and like, she's a virgin. And I was like, yeah, I was like, is this Christina fucking Dirty Aguilera? Like, yeah. with the fucking black streaks in her she's hair. Not, and she's, the, really, she's a Disney kid. She's like, I like anyone with an adult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any Any, position. Anytime I'm not being forced by the scripter or whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah, well, the creator. The creator. <laughs> I don't think she really ever leaned in. Like, she had Dirty, and that was like her transition from like, bubblegum pop to like adult sex pot but I think it kind of like ended after that well, yeah, like a lot yeah. of people like le- like Britney Spears leaned in like, yeah. 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 that was her fuck you like, I'm not a Disney kid anymore kind of thing like right. Britney did right. like how to do the one sexy yeah. shocker thing right and then you know but now, yeah, well, you're just describing a woman is, when it goes from a business decision to a mental illness <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it turns out we were right. a little bit ahead of ourselves with that free Britney thing she was portly for a while portly is a tough word don't be mean. No. <laughs> Portly, I, I, nice. I would rather be called obese than portly. <laughs> Portly's like more of a man's thing. Because por- portly, but, husky, but, I think is actually a good one. Some people get offended by that. Homely, Home, <laughs> homely, and portly. If you're portly, first of all, that makes you just think of like you're a portly pig. You're just a little, <laughs> little, little piggy, piggy. Oink, Girl, oink for me. I, I had a friend describe when we were in high school describe a woman who worked at the school as putrid, and I was <laughs> oh, like, that's, that's the most. Oh no. And and, yeah. and 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 then nothing described her better. Repugnant uh, is. She a was good like one. an older Penis. woman who Penis. was like balding and like. I mean, uh, she looked like a creature from the depth. Like, yeah. Was, putrid is... It, he's, like, he's like, dude, she's just putrid. And that stuck with me for... <laughs> I don't even know how to spell putrid. P-U-T-R-I-D. Let's try. Give it a putrid. P-U... P-E-U? No, P-U... P-E-W. Oh, was no. E-W? No, W. I was going to E-W. I was going P-E... P-U-W? P-U-T-R-I-D. I could have got you guys on that one. P-U-R-I-D. Oh, you're joking. Oh, yeah. No, I got you good fuckers. P-U-R-T-I-D. P-U-R? What are you, illiterate? P-U-T... R I D. Are you retarded? I am. Gay? <laughs> Holy shit! I, I was the gay thing is just to cover that up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a newspaper on top of the puke. <laughs> Joey was like, "Well, I'm retarded. I might as well suck some dicks too." Yeah. <laughs> just to take that, take his mind off. By the way, for two homosexual gentlemen, what is the ensemble choice today with the yeah, cosplay? This is clear. Yeah, I was gonna say this is clearly yeah. a thing. Well, I'm the, wearing... it wasn't. I didn't even notice the hat. Joey wearing a <laughs> Cleveland. Why do you know this hat? hat I, I literally. Fuck- Insane. I just found this on the ground on the way in here. I had, a, I had a different hat on beforehand, but mm-hmm. I saw the red here and I wanted to pick it up because I didn't want to, I was just doing a show with a different hat, a different hat. So I wanted to see him give something different, like a different day. The, so the I Cleveland grabbed this on the Indians floor. I walked up. Is... Young Sam Bob said, "What the fuck are you doing with that hat on?" I thought it was like C for my last name. That, but... Young Sam yeah. Bob, that's because he's from Cleveland. Yeah. Is this he, he yeah. Yeah. I don't want he your kind right, wearing my hat. Ready to hit a hate crime, really. Yeah. 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 What is this? What is this? What is it? Was a football team or baseball team? You know, he's like good. He goes out with. Youngstown Bob like every weekend. We really? Him and Youngstown Bob go out and get drinks and then they try and pick up guys together. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. We have our neighbors. We hang out all the time. We just sat this weekend. When you post pictures on in, on Instagram, do you filter them and, and face tune them and shit? Or are you just um, you just, fa- you just fancy filter, and sexy like that? The face, t- no, I don't face tune. Because like, you look story. striking on, on so social not, media. Not on, on stories, I don't. I, what I do, I just do the Paris yeah. filter on the stories. And right. sometimes if there's like a tanner filter. But, but a hard post, are you? Hard post, I will just do have some, this some fucking blue steel look to you too though. Yeah, I will yeah. brighten it up. I, it's not what about the only thing I do fuck with is I will slim out my neck. Oh, <laughs> who, who amongst <laughs> us? Take it in. Who amongst us does it? And I'll you brighten know? up the things. Like I'll brighten like a. But like the, those, like that, that little like smoky look you're giving with your eyes. That's no, that's, a, that's, real. that's natural. Yeah, real. you're very photogenic. Is, thank, yeah, I am. You are. I, I actually took a picture of you. I think you were in that. No, no, you were in a Patriot shirt. The Patriot shirt. When we yeah. were at fucking Mizuno uh, Ale House a couple weeks ago. And I took a picture of you, and I, I just took a picture, and that was yeah. it. I, I don't yeah. know how to do all that stuff. So I do I, help out a little bit, but I know I do have good photos. I posted look, it. I was like, God look, damn, have, Joey looks hot here. I have a chain what on here. Dumb, yeah, what's the chain? Well, I was in so Soho yesterday, all... the other day. I was in Soho, and I saw this guy wearing this outfit. This not the outfit I'm wearing now, the one that I went to um, to the Guggenheim yesterday wearing. I, I, I took a $50 shit at the Guggenheim yesterday. <laughs> he had to poop so bad, he paid to get to the Guggenheim. 
to take a dump and then walked out. There wasn't like a Starbucks next door or something? No, it was right, it was, it was right there. You know what there was? You know who I ran into at the coffee shop that I was trying to shit in? Um, Jason Bateman. No oh, way. Hey. He was, I was trying, I was trying, he's he was, the man. He's the man. He didn't yeah, say hi to me, though. <laughs> I, but I, you know when you see another celebrity in public, you like, we need to acknowledge each other. Like, like, he didn't even give me the nod. He didn't even give me the nod. It's like, a little like, you know, yeah. <laughs> let's, not, let's not call the scene here. here. Dude, we're in the same industry. Let's yeah. not call the scene. We don't want to, we don't want to. A fellow ruckus. podcaster. Remember, man, Arrested Development really skirted on that, that, uh, sexual assault stuff. That, uh. Oh, well, he got in trouble Not sexual that? assault, but like. Well, I guess he's dead now. Jeffrey Tambor was like, but he wasn't on. It wasn't arrested. Oh, he died. Oh, what? It, it wasn't? was on transfixed. Transfixed. Was trans, trans, was. Trans, trans. I don't know if that's true oh. because I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty, yeah. I'm pretty sure that Lucille was like. Oh really? I, yeah. I, I, he got fired from Transparent. I thought I. Yeah, that. no, but I, I, I think I think it yeah. was. Those are mine. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Yeah. I'm just acknowledging they yeah, are my don't, nice don't sunglasses. Here, right? <laughs> Je- <laughs> I won't try it. I won't try it. So. Jeffrey Tambor very much alive still. Oh, yeah. she yeah. she she's the one who died. Yes. I think she was her the one name. who spoke up. <laughs> <laughs> don't say her dead name. We took pictures of you guys before the show because we're gonna uh, turn you into women at our live show in Nashville, and we're gonna give you drag names. Now we can uh, finally oh. test the waters, John. Yeah, we can test the waters. See if you get any bites. On the, on the Anytime we've done those, like uh, use a fi- filter to make us look like women, uh. we do not fare too well. Yeah. yeah. Granted, Pabs um, does it in a way that he's trying to make us look bad. Pabs I would. I wonder it. if you we did are. it to us and tried to make us look good. How we would come out? I still think not great. I still think that we are entirely dude. You know, yeah, yeah. like there's nothing. The right there's there's, work, a, there's a lot of feminine no, about like no how we behave. Features. But no, yeah, you have very soft skin. But I think that I think that your your nose is very masculine for a woman's. It's brain. a honker. <laughs> That's what he's trying to say. The Roman nose. Yeah. Check any Julius Caesar. They all had the you same. You could be. You could be. Defends it staunchly. Defends it every time. Some woman told me that one time on a boat in Newport. And I was working for the Roman summer, nose. and she said, "And Roman. every everyone uh, my whole life had described my nose with a K, and up until that point, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like a kite but different." <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, and she's Jesus. like, "It's a very Roman nose. You look like an emperor." And I was like, "I am taking that and keeping it in my back pocket yeah. forever." Yeah. <laughs> you have soft uh, features, though. You, if you had the right hair and makeup. And a good, a good outfit from Bloomingdale's, you'd probably... I pretty. think I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a compliment. Anyone can be a, I have nice a feet. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pretty, pretty feet for a man. Pretty feet for a man. I was in a, uh, a laundromat, like in the hood, kind of, and uh, this, this black woman went... I was wearing uh, flip-flops at the time of the summer. She goes... You have pretty feet for a man, and I was like, <laughs> "Fuck yeah!" Kevin, yeah. Kevin has told me that before, and I've seen his feet, and I don't, I don't know if I agree. I don't disagree with it, but Fuck I, this guy he doesn't know what he's talking. I don't, about. I don't, I don't. When I see him, I don't say those are nice feet. Well, I, like I have high arches, of, so I like how you did a little bit of a black scent. <laughs> I was hoping you would commit more. <laughs> I was like, I was, "You got God. pretty feet for a man." <laughs> yeah. Hey, white boy, you got pretty feet for a man. <laughs> I was like, "How hard is he gonna go?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's, it's, "We're not in Big Mama's up. house anymore." <laughs> yeah. Big Mama's house. The um, <laughs> Nolan. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Kevin when he said that, it's like there. There are moments. I'm show you like, my fucking feet. Where you're like, I, I you're like, hell them. yeah, like, all right, I did make the right decision. It's a feminine quick. sock. How the hell did you get that off? That's so a quick. feminine sock. I'll give you that. Uh, yeah, I got my note. How would I get that off so your fast? Your feet are be- your feet are beautiful. <laughs> Do you not have socks on? No, throw them up. Oh, you don't want to throw them up. Throw them up. No, you got to pay for that shit, yeah, man. <laughs> those those are twelve year olds' feet. They are. Very those, nice. That would be pretty, right? They're very very yeah. nice nail beds. I, I think I think this is one of those. Those are good feet. It's like, whew, all right, I am straight. Thank God. Like, is that... <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, because guess what? That they, doesn't they, appeal to me at all. They have, um, <laughs> they're not like, they have a high arch and they uh, why is are not big, very hairy. Why does your big toe have an arch, though? Well, my feet are fucked up, actually. <laughs> that's what's funny about her saying. a hammer toe. <laughs> 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 that's, how, that's how Kevin got out of Afghanistan. Kevin's like, do you guys see my feet? <laughs> I said on my show, I said, mm. um, I had a high, high arch. And go, I said, that's why I wasn't allowed in the military when I was wearing that high heels. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and I could do the pull-ups. <laughs> the, um, the, other, the other time where I was like, oh, dope, nice, I am straight. Because uh, there's been times where you're like, really, dude? Um, but the... Uh, enjoyed that a little too much. <laughs> Are you fucking come. sure, dude? <laughs> but the uh, we had Jeffree Star. You guys had her, yes. uh, him on the podcast. And... Um, he came on 
answer the internet. And one of the questions like, if you saw a glory hole, what oh, would you do? The, one of the best answers ever. And he was like, I'd get on my knees. Yeah, get back. And oh, I was like, wow. like, like, like holy shit, I never yeah. even considered that. Incredible. I am straight. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That, <laughs> I would say, that I would is, say get back to work. That is like, you know, uh, we've obviously never had anybody like him on uh, to, uh, to answer the internet. So the answer is always coming from the point of view of, of like, would you put your dick in it? And he was just like, I'd get my knee pads out. And I was like, <laughs> Yeah, brilliant, <laughs> brilliant and gay. Like, get right back never to cross the mind. Never, like, never. What's the most? What's the best? What's, what's the most answer those straight guys say when they see the glory hole? Actually, what we usually more often we ask. Uh, there's four glory holes. Oh, and behind it are three chicks and one dude. Yeah. Do you put your dick in? <laughs> or, or like, there's one glory hole for you know you get yeah. it. Like you have a, a seventy five percent chance of it being a dude. Uh, you a girl. It possible for I, them to say no. I, I, I mean, <laughs> I feel like if you. Put your dick in there. You will forever just be thinking like it was a guy. It was a dude. Yeah. Well, you know what happens behind the wall? Those three girls are in on it, and she says, "Once the dick comes through, the, they throw the gay guy over there." Like, yeah. get in there, girl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> I feel like you think gay guys or straight girls give better head. Gay guys, because they they crave because they, they know what they the, crave. Yeah, they do crave it. They do crave. But you I crave, guys are sluts. No, I understand. It's gay I crave, sluts. I crave. Cum. There, there are. <laughs> I mean, but you're not normal. One show. Yeah. <laughs> like like like, are there? This is, gonna, this is a very ignorant question because I know the answer. But like, are there gay guys who like who don't crave cum, who don't like sex yeah. as much, who don't yeah, aren't so hypersexual, course. right? Yeah, my but, boyfriend. But in general. <laughs> <laughs> but so okay uh, this is interesting so in is it um the same amount like you think of of uh guys who like you know typically you say like you get married and the woman doesn't want to have sex anymore do you think that happens as much with gay couples i think it does a little bit yeah, yeah. but like you said there is no species of being on earth that craves dick more, more than, than a gay man. <laughs> right, there right. Is. After a few pinot is that, is that because of like all the repression where you're like... No, because it's like, just hot. Like... <laughs> <laughs> so simple. What, what a fucking hot. brilliant... Like, like, like just like, so... No, no it's oh just God. hot. Because like, I, I always thought... <clears throat> I always thought it was like... You know, you're fucking in the in the at the you know the stereotypes of like you're fucking in the gym at the ba the bathroom of the gym or in the bar bathroom or whatever because it's almost the like staircase going to your laundromat in your own apartment. Yeah. Just hypothetically speaking, yeah. <laughs> I always thought that was kind of like you know at a time where people were in the closet, it wasn't allowed, and you meet someone who is gay and you are like attracted to someone. You're like, I gotta get it in right now, so yeah. let's just fucking do it. But now that it's more accepted, you don't really have to do those things. But I feel like you guys still are. So power to you. Well, I think it's like the that's the, how we pay. Homage that's to our forefathers. Yeah, you know, it's like, about, I'll suck your dick in this tree. bathroom because of yeah. Greg Louganis. Yeah. Yeah. Keeping our first tree alive. Yeah, I think that part of a crew. That's another hot thing. The, the animosity of like not knowing who it is. It's just like you know a, a quick a, a, women, 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 really, women, women wouldn't really do that. Like women would just go to the, wouldn't go to the bathroom and get yeah you know, because that's what fucked. You, and like you guys can like again. it's a fair fight. Yeah, if if and you go to the go bathroom and some guy tries to assault you, you know it's a fair fight. A girl does that. It's it's a wrap. You know. Yeah. Have you ever talked about that? And we can cut it if you haven't. Like you breaking up with an ex-boyfriend, just being like, "All right, we have to fight now." Oh no, we can talk about that. <laughs> I won't hook up with someone who I'm afraid could physically like, and that's what women. Dominate. That's what women do all the time. That's scary. Every time. If you go like, if I hooked up with a guy who was like bigger than me, I'm, that's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> what if something happens? <laughs> but, you're, but you're right. I did. I was uh, like my first like long-term boyfriend. We were like, it was just sour towards the end for like a good year. Oh, and eventually the everything came to a head. And we looked at each other, and there was just so much hatred. I looked at him, I go, can we just fight? <laughs> and he looks at me, and he goes, yeah. And we Did just, you? we moved furniture. <laughs> no fucking In the way. living room. And I just shoved him, and he clocked me, and I clocked him fists? back. Fists? Oh, yeah, fists. To the no, face. he hit me with, like, uh, I think I... He hit me with like an opened like. Of course he did. Thing. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, if I hit this guy back, I'll kill him. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah. think I just kind of gave him like a really hard one of these and shoved me like oh, this is a little fucking weird. Yeah, um, you're gonna catch a then, case. Yeah, that was the end of it. But I wish I kill. I wish I'd kill. That him. would be. That's an interesting I thought. Him. Yeah, him him. <laughs> Roll him up in the fucking. Oh, I would have fucking in, killed in him. the in the rug and sent him <laughs> yeah. out. What it? What about? What if we open up a a, a business, uh, and it's called Murder like for Fight for Gays. Yeah. And it's actually just the gays fighting each other. Yeah. And it's like you come here, you have to be evenly matched. 
<laughs> and so you, you, you spar. It's like on dog fight. Gay on the, fight club. Y- yeah, gay fight club. The first rule of gay fight club is, you know, you're talking about gay fight club. <laughs> you come with, you know, we'll put on some gloves and some headgear so it's not too violent, but it's like rather than doing some passive aggressive relationship bullshit argument, come here and as you're throwing fists, be like, I fucking hate when you leave the towels on the floor. It's like, well, I don't like it. You talk to your ex still. And, <laughs> and then you and John are just jerking off on the couch watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it all well, down. On MMA nights, might as well. Right? <laughs> was, Nick, can we shut the cameras off? <laughs> uh, that was, uh, gay guys could fight. Some of them can't because they're not going to go down unless it's a fucking a spiked bat with nails coming out of it. Yeah. There's some anger. <laughs> I got some anger on me. Now, and now the first everyone's 12 doing, years of my life. I'm uh, fucking ready. Yeah. And now, now everyone's doing mixed martial arts, jujitsu, uh, all that shit. Yes. So they all can fucking you know, put you in an arm bar and break your fucking body in half. You never know. Like if you see someone on the street like if they well, have you shouldn't pick fights man if like if they have any fighting experience if you could like most people you can kind of size up but like every once in a while you see a viral video online where it's like totally. UFC fighter knocks out as, seven guys who as a matter of him. fact sizing people up is where I think you get in trouble you're like 5'6 oh, right, yep. this guy doesn't know what he's doing he's 5'6 he's for his whole life yeah. so he's been fucking right. learning how to I get winded from sneezing so it's like <laughs> I'm big but it's like I can't I'm not moving fast <laughs> She's an elephant queen. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine Joey and Rough and Rowdy. Oh, no, I, I would, would love that. that. I, would I was a ring girl that time, remember? Yeah, yeah. Remember, of course. I, I could have How was that accepted? It was fine until um <laughs> until, until West Virginia until, saw until, you. <laughs> yeah, no, until Dave and um, Dan said they were throwing up in their mouths looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hate crime. Did they really? Yeah, yeah they <laughs> now that's, after. that's fucking mean. <laughs> that's no. the funniest thing. Like, oh, I'm gonna throw up. It's Joey just on there, and then he went and bought fucking. Coke in the fentanyl capital of the United States. Yes. Didn't even test it and went back to the hotel room and was just like, <laughs> with a bunch of fucking Appalachian inbreds. Yeah. Yeah. No way, really? Yeah. Yeah. Did you fuck him? It was a dyke? A dyke, yeah. It's a dyke. Dude, that's <laughs> fucking, that's the most Western. A dyke ever. that DM'd me on Instagram. He goes, yeah, you want to hang out, honey? I'll tell you how to hang out. Dude, if I had a female drug dealer, like, I get I get a little like, hmm, enough when like a woman delivers my food. Like, I'm like, all right, she, 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 <laughs> why? <laughs> why food delivery? It's just it's just not the norm. Like, yeah, right the norm, like, if you're a chick, dominated. if you're a yeah. chick and you drive an Uber or yes, deliver, I'm the same it's way. like, yo, there are so many other ways for you to make way more money than this. Dude, like, I, if I you're, you're pretty because... much a rock bottom. Go be a stripper. <laughs> go be a this. Go be a that. There's so many ways to make money before you're delivering my Taco Bell. It's, it's probably because my mom wouldn't let me be a pizza delivery guy when I was in college. She's like, it's too dangerous. So I was like, okay. And then I'm like, this is... Because he was too pretty? Uh, patriarchal. <laughs> I'm like, this is dangerous, lady. <laughs> like, you shouldn't... I could just grab you and pull you in the house right yeah, now. Yeah. Real. Um, so, uh, Have you thought about that? I could fucking kill you. <laughs> Give me my tacos. <laughs> Does DoorDash that. know where you are right now? <laughs> um, oh. But the, uh, but yeah, I'd be super weirded out if I if I called for drugs and then it was, a woman came to my door. But it's a, this is a... This is a barnyard lesbian. <laughs> no. This is not like some petite little girl delivering. No. This is a pig. This is a woman who has been eating, you know, mammies, you know, grits her whole life. She's thick. She's country strong. She's got a mustache. Mm-hmm. And she's got legs. Her hairs are, her, she's got porcupine hairs on her leg. You she, like hanging out with 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 uh, lesbians a, 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 like that? <laughs> I do. I I had I had a, I was around with a big group of lesbians back in the nineties, and big group of lesbians big back group. in the 90s. Yeah, no, it was <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> sentence. No, it was in Brooklyn. I was like hanging out like I had all my friends were lesbians. It was like I wasn't in their crew. Well, they probably thought you were one. I know. They thought <laughs> it was one of them. Um, they were fun, but like, you know, yeah, I do like hanging out with um yeah. very butch women because I feel like I think it's hot. Like I we were talking it. about it earlier, like yeah. I never had sex with a butch woman, but I would. I've, I've been. I've have hooked up with um, trans men, so women that um, women that became uh, transitioned to men, but still vaginas. Oh, really? yeah. oh, so you you you've uh, yeah you fucked vaginas before? Yeah, I didn't no, not that. fucked it. No, I I haven't fucked one yet. I never got that far, but I, would, I did a lot of fingering in the ba- in the bathroom at clubs. <laughs> in the vagina. Uh, in the vagina and kissing. You've, so you've 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 felt the vagina. I I fingered tr- a few girls. Have you fingered straight girls? Like what? Like <laughs> yes, are you one. a gold her star? Name was, her you? Name was Jen on the couch. That was a Jennifer convertible couch. <laughs> in the living room, and um, I kept giggling so she couldn't finish. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you were good at it? I was. Home- I wanted to. Like, I wanted to do it. Like as like almost the way you had sex with that other f- woman that you said. Yeah. Um, on her period because you wanted to like I didn't I didn't need to prove it to myself but I did want to do it just uh, to say you did yeah because I felt like I needed to um, succeed but I've called him when he's been in Vegas or like he'll like send me a picture and it'll just be like him like in a hotel room four in the morning with like 
clearly like a pimp <laughs> and then like a trans a prostitute and it's just the three of them there i'm like you got this is dangerous Joey. i was like what if they rob you he's like they won't do anything I'm like you can't i was like what were you doing he's like you know <laughs> this is like a couple months ago. Fucking this is not, puss, no it dude. wasn't when was this in the fall this is before i knew my boyfriend so it's right, summer <laughs> less than a year can we agree on less than a year no, it was not less. No, than it had to be more than a year. It ago. was two years ago. All right, two years ago. We'll cut that out for safety's sake. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Uh, if I if I had to pick one thing I know I'm bad at, it's fingering. Um, oh, I'm the fucking goat. Really? I'm the your goat. Thumb? Absolutely. And finger like this. I I go Spider Man with it. <laughs> so these two go in. Or these go in. I think I I, I think when it's you're not, like okay, a young okay, kid, the let me let me amend my statement. Inside. I'm I'm like a close combat fighter. Inside, I can fucking get in there. Bang, 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 bang. You can't rub that. You can't rub that clit. But on the outside, I'm just like, what the? Don't fuck? you your palm like that Gunny said? That me. That was that was a that was an interesting thing that she had to say there. You have I don't two know. gay There's guys on to talk about fingering girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys probably know as much about the straight guys though. So it's like <laughs> the, the the yeah I I um. I pride myself on my finger. It's <laughs> nice to have. To have I, I find it to be so. It's like, like, it's crazy that you have to try to make a girl come with your dick. You it's can't attached it. to your hips. You can't move it or no, wiggle you it. You got all your fucking fingers, work. man. Do you press it as you're in? This is such a dirty podcast. You can. Do you press it as you're in there? If like, you want to fucking explode, bro. Joey is a guy. This is a first the spider man. And I have that for a post. Look at look at these little these fucking guys who who talk. What are you guys gay or something? Guys talk outrageous all the time. All I just bring up pussy and you're like, oh god, my virgin. Engineers. Jesus Christ, you is, guys are perverted. Is this, is this like the people on our show? <laughs> I'm like I nauseous. <laughs> I felt like I just had like a shot of Ozempic. Like I'm ready to throw Oh, up. that's what I have to do today. Yeah, I forgot. Are you doing Ozempic for the tour? Um, that- I know I should take it every day, every week. Every what is week? Ozempic? Again? It's the weight it's loss. The weight loss. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure, diabetes. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> what do you, what do, you yeah. do? You pay off a doctor for that? No, he just gives it to me. He just gives it to you? Yeah. He needs a doctor shop a little for it, right? No, it's like he's, oh, he offered it to me. <laughs> oh, really? He's like, you, you look like someone who could use diabetes it. medication. Yeah. It's easy. <laughs> All you do is do it, then you're not hungry, then you lose weight. Yep. <laughs> Are you uh, guys excited for the tour? Or I am. Tour, it's right? not yeah. a tour. It's a one show. One, one show. city stop. <laughs> one stop. <laughs> but you're doing Zany's one Nashua, show, right? Yes. Zany yeah. Nashville is dope. I can recommend the. Have you guys performed there? Is cool. yeah. yeah, it's Zanies very, is very cool. It was yeah. like it's actually like the one place comedians. You know, we talked to a lot of comedians, and uh, everyone like just lit, lit cigarette. Um, the uh, everyone's always like, "That's a great room. It's a great room. great room." And when they say that room, I feel like so I'm so much on the inside of the of yeah the, of the. Uh, but the, but Zany's, Zany's, you can understand it. A lot of them are like these. This looks like all the same. Zany's, I think it's the low the low ceiling. The second deck, which is like a particularly low ceiling. Yeah. Like it is like there that had one of the more like raucous laughter crowds. Yep, we back. Yeah, it was, good. It was fantastic. Low ceilings. Hope there's low standards there as well. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah, Chelsea Handler's performing there the week before yeah. we are, and she's oh, one of my wow. idols. I love her. She's opening for us. She's <laughs> That's what we say. Like they're all, we just read all the comics that are opening for us. <laughs> it's funny because our shows are so like themed, and every time Joey and I are like, let's just try something like a little more stand up y and then and then we sit down and we're like, we need a wig reveal. We need, yeah. <laughs> Already get on the phone with the lights. We're gonna have music cues. We're gonna yeah. do this. Joey's like, it's I'm a gonna bring Mamitas. I'm gonna again. spray the crowd with them. It's, like, it's a variety it's show. Variety yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. She's wearing she's wearing spurs and and. Uh, <laughs> And fucking stirrups. I showed him my outfit today. He was like, I need to step my pussy up. It was like a frilled thing. Fringe. It's called fringe. 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 Yeah, that's know. hilarious. But it's going to be fun. And we're going to go out booze and after. That's really, that's like the half it. I plan Why like. you're doing it. Yeah. He plans stuff shows. with the club. I do all that. And then he takes care of the party. Yeah. That's how we. Sp- it's there like a couple. Now. We split it up. Say. I this, the business half, he does the fun that's half. Yeah, and you do a fun after party to drink. You guys yeah. should come. We're going to be in uh, somewhere. Where are you going to be? We have shows ourselves this week. Um, on Thursday, the show is. Thursday at Zanies in Nashville, the boys. Uh, Dallas on Thursday is where we are. Oh, at the uh, Roundup? <laughs> I don't know what the Roundup is. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure it's. it's, it's <laughs> uh, where are we, Nick? Addison Improv. Addison, Addison Improv. Addison Improv. Go buy tickets. You know what these fuckers did? They were selling only no. available. 
That's that is Houston. Houston right? was selling only available in four or six. Why? Uh, something about like you know tables? tabletops and trying to like uh, organize yeah. it. I was like, uh, we have people who come alone. Yeah. We have a ton of people who come with two. So the tickets only started selling like recently. So I was like, fuck. That's what we're sh- saying about our show as well. That's why I didn't sell it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, must have been a glitch. With the I can't Try even again. imagine you guys live because we like to cut loose live because you know it's not on the internet. And you can do and say whatever you want. So yeah. Show some things. Usually we just show you coming on your face. Yes. Um, <laughs> but, but you guys can do all that shit. I'm sure you guys are yeah, a fucking it's just, wild scene. I mean, it's just unhinged. Yeah. <laughs> it's beyond. It's like there's a plan, and we we've, we've gotten better. I think at following like. It is a show. It's right, not us. Right. I learned to not start drinking it. until I actually get on the stage. Because if I, if I get fucked up before I, I get that. on stage, I'm sleeping by half. half yeah. I, 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 I take my pants I, uh, on stage. I had to make that change where yeah. it was just yeah. like because people were like passing up whiskeys and stuff, and then like if you've been drinking Probably. beforehand, you're like, I am. Yeah, no. blacked out with a microphone and a crowd. <laughs> and that's also <laughs> it's not like Jesus be. right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's also gives you initi- like initiative to want to actually go on the stage and do the show because you know if you get once you get out there you can have a drink. Your treat, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's always you who starts it. Like I try and hold off. I'm like get my ducks in a row, kind of you know, just make sure good. Are we good? Hit the music at the right time. We just do the show for the entrance. That's really all. <laughs> it's all downhill from yeah, there. Yeah, then it's all downhill. Yeah, downhill Thanks for coming out. See you guys later. <laughs> and then he'll always be like, "All right, yeah, we're about ten minutes out." Half hour late, always gay. <laughs> and I'm like, how's a cocktail, Trish? <laughs> it's like, it's like it starts. By the end of the show, I mean. Yeah, I'm sloshed. And I have a, I always have a bucket on stage with like at least three bottles of wine. <laughs> For himself. I think actually when we were in Nashville, I think I drank a six pack of duels on stage. <laughs> right? oh, oh. Duels? Yeah. One time you ate 15 fucking cheeseburgers, didn't you? I tried, I tried not, to, not, yeah. not succeed. Yeah. yeah, that's hard. Real cheeseburgers? Yeah, the McDonald's. McDonald's. Like, McDonald's oh. like dollar menu ones. Oh, yeah. my God. Mm-hmm. And this was just to cover up some hurt that's happening inside. <laughs> that's what it all is, baby. We <laughs> think this fucking show's for. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> you guys have a good turnout. Like any, like we, like we sold out relatively quick. Like on the East Coast, we went to Nashville and we're like, it's not damn, easy. It's, it's not easy, man. It's like, different. Like, yeah, no people. People think uh, people think it's easy, and it is not. It's yeah. like you have your your strongholds where people know you and like you, and then you got places where you got to like fucking work at it. You right. know. Yep. We gotta have flyers on Wednesday night. <laughs> we're gonna go yeah, barking. Barkers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that what we're called Barkers? Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have do groupies? Um, well, oh, dude! Well, I, I, I always say yeah, when I was with you lo- guys, when I was with you guys on the, um, I She's met up best. with you in Boston probably about two years ago now. Where I think you guys were on a Bar Service America. Maybe that was last year. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and it was like I was I was in town for a Bruins game. It's that bar, the two level. Yeah, and oh, I just yeah. like caught up, and and you, it was the Bar Service America crew, and I just heard the whole time, just like Pat, Joey, this <laughs> yeah, they girls or guys, girls, the girls. So you have like all girls. I mean, fans. do you have groupies that will fuck you because you're podcast hosts? Yes. Yeah. Probably that are guys. We could, yeah, yeah, and we could have sex with any one of the women. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the man mafia will absolutely put out for no. you guys. No, for sure. They're yeah, if they could, them. if you you could go. What a racket if you guys were actually straight and you go town to town being like, I'll, I'll be your first. You'll be my first. You know? <laughs> I'm saying it. Yeah. Imagine. No, we have, I'm, yeah, we have some group. We have a couple guys who, who show up. They showed up last time. One of the guys showed up yeah. in I, a shirt with a bag of drugs taped to it. I, oh, oh, right. That's cool. A real one? Yeah. Real yeah. bag of drugs? I guess, yeah. I, I got a guy in my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> what is he saying? My left foot. Um, this guy has always had a thing for me. He, Let me see. I, I scroll back to. Does he follow 2021, me? Twenty twenty one. He he signed off the letter as your best gay fan, but um. Is this our fin sub? No. <laughs> it's not. No, it's not. Donnie's doming him out now, <laughs> Chef Donnie. Really? Yeah, he sold oh, Chef Donnie money. This guy said Ooh. he should that you should our change this sub. to your profile picture. <laughs> I don't know his name. I do know his name. I don't want to say it though. But he screen. He tried to get me jealous. He screenshotted money that he sent to Donnie, so I would dom him out more. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I go. You're sending money to other people. You mm-hmm. little fucking slut. Yeah. <laughs> Who is this? I don't know if we should say. It. We shouldn't say. It. No, no, we should he does not too. say. It. Yeah. Fucking crazy. He does, he, it's his sub too. Yeah. So what do you do for him? Send dick pics? Oh uh, no, this was this was. I probably this is probably like three years ago at this point, two years ago, whatever it was. Um, but yeah, just like you tell him he's a little bitch and all that good stuff. <laughs> On video? Uh, no. Via text? Via text. Not and even Chef text. Like, did it? On like Instagram or whatever. Allegedly, I just blew up Chef Johnny's spot. This guy. <laughs> Let me see this picture. Yeah. This guy, he's a gay guy whose profile no, is China interfered with the 2020 election, enshrined the Hyde Amendment. I don't know what that is. 
and now hashtag Trump twenty four burner account. <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, I, "You sell feet pics. I want." Oh my god, that's why like, shouldn't show it. Total yeah. blue. Like, awesome. Out of like, we haven't talked about that recently or anything, right? Like, just out of nowhere, yeah. this guy. This picture? Yeah, who <laughs> Jones? <laughs> oh, that's a. That is Bridget Everett. <laughs> I, I don't know who that is, but I trust it's funny. Bridget Everett, she's, she's uh, a comedian. comedian. Uh, <laughs> looks like Bridget Everett. Exactly like Bridget Everett. Did you send him? No. No. He didn't pay me I don't off. follow her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is, pre, is uh, pre pad. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you fire up the cameo every once in a while? <laughs> Bro, that was literally every time Bill's got tight. I was yeah. like, cameo time! <laughs> now, they, yeah. now they hit me up every now and then. They're like, you know, you got a bunch of requests. I'm like, never doing that again. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I keep forgetting. I remember when, when, yeah. when Dave would always make fun of it. He'd be like, if you're, if you're doing cameo, like you're a fucking loser and your career's going nowhere. And I was like, now listen. <laughs> I'm not going to turn my nose up at good money. There yeah. are some people who make tens of thousands of yeah. dollars, and then the check yeah. came in, and I was like, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, yo, I mean, I, I'm sure. Uh, I think Frank the Tank is the most requested person on Cameo. Yeah, yeah. He tells uh, I don't know what he charges, but I'm sure Frank the Tank is making I money. I charge 150 And what do you do? You I jerk just, off and stuff? No. <laughs> that's my, uh, that's my only fans. <laughs> you charge 150 I mean, you could probably do one into the mic right now if you had to. I have like four in my in my thing. I have yeah. to do. I no, it's, it's just hey, I, girl, I, yeah. Girl, yeah. Da, 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 da. No, I mean, I uh, yeah. I, yeah. I I mean, I, I will not be doing it again. But I do. <laughs> no, I it makes do sense. Have, there's you're, no you're shame pay, in that game, pay, man. I gift. the um and then you kind of get into like a flow. I don't know about you, but it's just like saying the same thing over and over. Yeah, it's like I got a bachelor party, I got a birthday, I got a this, I got that. If you have to bang out like during the holidays, you have to bang out like thirty of them in like one one hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like like things like weird things for me, like Father's Day would be a big one or oh, like yeah, shit yeah. like that. But I will tell you, it is a humbling experience trying to set your cameo price. Yeah. Yeah. Because no one will buy you it. will look at other people and be like, Well, they're doing like a hundred. I'll do like one fifty. Yeah, yeah. And then nobody buys you. <laughs> <laughs> and then you put it to like forty dollars, and people like flood flood in. It's like okay, so I'm worth forty dollars. Yeah, yeah. Two <laughs> no, twenty dollars bill. I think I did forty. I think I did fifty. <laughs> worth forty dollars. Yeah. I'm worth forty dollars. Yeah, it's, it's disgusting. <laughs> That's and, 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 foul. And, and I would like like the the sum of it. It would add up, and it was like. It was really at times when I was paying for like lawyers and shit, and I was like, I, I, I legit need this money. But the the You're so like adding it up, looking at it, be like, all right, I made like that much for the year, that was worth it. But the feeling of doing it in the moment, yeah, like, I just did that for forty dollars. <laughs> that's like, that, <laughs> that's like, like whole, I would literally rather jerk you off. That's like, like autographs, <laughs> like people, celebrities with their their, uh, their headshots, how much an autograph worth? It's like, oh, I'm only worth two dollars. <laughs> yeah, 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 that is fucking. Just, exactly. That feels like shit. Getting. Did you see uh, Pete Davidson at the Garden? Yeah, shove that, that guy. Yeah, good for but him. But did you see what that fucking guy was doing to him? Oh, no. that was weird. He was like putting his head on his shoulder and like rubbing his back. He's old. Game, too. Yeah. He's like six, he's like in his sixties. Yeah. A white haired the, guy. The, the after the yeah. game, like as he, as he was like walking out, they like all the fans are hounding him, and this guy like puts his head on his shoulder and then he touches him and then he's jumping in all the fe- like, fucking selfies, photo bombing the teen girls, and and, yeah. and Pete just like takes it and takes it. Eventually, just like, get the fuck off me. But then Twitter only showed the first half of that video, and they were like, look at Pete Davidson shoving a fan. Fuck you. Yeah. He showed incredible restraint. I legit think I would have like done worse to that guy. Yeah. But did he warn him? Like I thought he was kind of a dickhead if he didn't warn him. If like if there was no warning at all, and it's like leading up, you should be like, hey, back off, back off. He I don't just know. Ignoring I, him, I, and then all of a sudden I, you shove him. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm pro shove. Yeah. Right away. yeah, yeah. I, I don't think. I think that was the the warning. He yeah. he kind of did a quick. He didn't do a art like he went like that, like bow. Like yeah. get the way, like, and he did he like, fall get the down? fuck away from me. No, 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 no. no, no, he was no. Stunned, I think. But but I, yeah, I think I think the guy was like, what? Like why did you do that? It's like because you're a fucking drunk, like fifty. I'm sure that guy has kids oh, at just... home, and his his kids are like, oh my oh, fucking god, dad, you fucking physically sexually assaulted Pete Davidson. He's probably, Jesus he was probably Christ. blacked, hammered, hammered. Texas. Texas. I'm sure. I'm sure, sure he. Humans. Yeah. He's I'm sure he's a big wig. I'm sure he's a big wig who like is used to getting whatever he wants and all that shit, and is like fucking me and Pete. Yeah, no big deal. Like no, dude, get the fuck. Off we saw him. him at NASCAR, remember? Who? Pete Davidson. Did we? Yeah, wasn't it him? Were you there? Maybe. I, don't I went backstage uh, at, at one of his shows, like, right before he really popped. Yeah. Me and Caitlin went. She was pregnant. He took pictures with her belly, and, like, okay. it was really nice. <laughs> he was weird. He, like, he, like held the belly. The belly. <laughs> you um, shoved him. And then, uh, <laughs> and then, like, he got, like, so big, and I, I think we I think we texted a couple times or, or, or yeah. something. And then he just... 
you know, it's like see you never. Like, and then, and, and then we made fun of his butthole eyes, and he he talked about that in his special. And I think he was like, "Fuck you guys." Yeah, he has butthole eyes. Chaps, yeah, Chaps. That, was, that was a classic. Bro, he just yeah. wrote a blog. Pete Davidson has butthole eyes, <laughs> and, then, and, and then, it went and mega then viral because eyes was, look like assholes. Oh. He has dark circles. So who doesn't? Yeah, but then he <laughs> in his special he was like, you know. He was like, fame isn't all that great. Like, I was like, I was doing okay, and people knew me, and then I blew up, and now but Barstool Sports says I have butthole eyes, <laughs> and it got it got a good laugh. <laughs> um, so, um, what's up with the, with the pod these days? I feel like you know when we last talked, you guys were like, it was still relatively newish. Are you guys now settled in? Like, yeah. this is it. This is the long haul now. You're you're married basically. Yeah, the honeymoon's <laughs> over. You're not fucking oh, each other anymore. Yeah, I don't there, know if you want to open this can of worms. Has there been <laughs> out, out, is over. Pat out got, about beef? That got noticeably red. <laughs> yeah. Marty's got some footage that I think. <laughs> have yeah. you guys had meltdowns and fights? Oh God, yeah. Yeah. yeah when he tries to come for me, I have to put her in her place. <laughs> Listen, if you spend a lot of time with people, you're gonna get on. Each- you guys don't. No, you're we like don't. The most, you guys are like the most relaxed people on earth. Yeah. We're too high strung faggots. We're not gonna, you know, with an uppers addiction. Yeah, with, <laughs> we're two gay drug addicts. Addicts who are yeah. fucking <laughs> trying to string a, a sentence together <laughs> twice a week and so it's high strung. Nothing will but heads. Oh. No, but it's been it's been good. And it's then there's it Marty out. just in the mix, like what the <laughs> <Yeah>. fuck? <laughs> I used to do ESPN radio in Louisiana. Yeah. Take me he's, back. Dude. He's dealing with the two, arguably the two biggest queens in Manhattan, <laughs> yeah. from the, from Shreveport to here. <laughs> like the most that is like, so fucking funny does he go to the shows with you yeah oh yeah and so he's just like there for the man mafia and the queens yep. and the and the drag and everything he's so, Marty, Marty soaks it up Marty loves it yeah, yeah. yeah. and Marty's great too like he's yeah. so helpful he does you know whatever we need him to how do. many straight guys do you think are at your shows girlfriends bring them girlfriends right? bring yeah. them yeah yeah and we amount. them huh a decent amount? No, or is it I'd like probably one? say like you guys should. You, sh- you should like call yeah. them out and make them come on stage and yeah. maybe we'll do that. Humiliate Just them, you know. Yeah. Boston had a decent amount. We did that at Boston. We yeah, like yeah. pulled. That was actually fun. We we're trying to do like more audience interaction stuff, but it's tough because the Cause longer you wait, the drunker they get. The yeah. harder is like Tart. control shit. Boston's probably not the spot to do it nah, either. Boston was people were hammered. Yeah. Oh my. god. God, I love that when Boston tries to pretend they're not drunk racists. It's like, yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. It's all you guys are, and it's fine. Yeah. You're for that. America needs that. <laughs> we were just there for the Pirate Water um, event in St. Patty's. Yeah, a bunch rowdy. of drunk racist well. children running around. <laughs> that was fun. That was a shit show. <laughs> that was crazy. That I'm was so that was sticky. so long. Yeah. It was like because everyone, everyone you see is if you're in a float for a parade. It was like a three hour parade. Everyone you see, so they think freezing. it's the first. They think you're the first people. Yeah. They're the first people you're seeing. And they're right. like, where is your energy? I've been like, doing this for I've been fucking screaming two and for and two hours. and a half hours. It feels like a fucking saw is going through my head. Like, yeah. I had to sit down and just like compress my head for a little while. Because I was going to go, let's go! Yeah. You were yeah. sober, too. Like, like, yeah, I just kept yelling, Brianna's over there! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, she's basically fucking Madonna. Like, that girl yeah, got She seen. is, uh, I mean, she yeah. is next level mm-hmm. rock star. I, I love how like she keeps it pretty low-key, like... Uh, I, I at least as I know her, she hasn't like changed at all. No. When she definitely could have by now. Like oh, she's yeah. she's on a trajectory that's like I would have changed. Yeah. yeah, I was texting with her about popsicles this weekend. I was like, I'm texting with your hot chicken fry. <laughs> 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 all right, so where can people get tickets? Where? We don't know the link. <laughs> <laughs> go to uh, out, out out yeah. Yeah. go to our Lincoln bio or go to uh, Zany the Zany's website Nashville. It's yeah. there. It's all over our social. It's all on our stories. That's Just right. click the link. Thursday at seven thirty uh, at um, Zany's Comedy Club. I'm yep. sure there'll be a nice little post game going on too. So yes, oh, yeah. we're having a yeah. nice after party. I'm not telling you where it is until you show come to the show. That's smart man. That's yeah. Smart man. And we even said you didn't even have to come. Just buy the tickets. Yeah, <laughs> totally. I don't care if you're there. Just get the, just get the tickets and show up. <laughs> like I, great. I need. 45 of you to buy a ticket and not show up. It'll be a funny thing. Tag us. 45 empty seats that you made the money for. It. Right. Yeah, yeah, that sounds Save good. Save the money on the, tra- the travel and the airfare and the hotels. <laughs> just buy the ticket. <laughs> Matter of fact, we're going to just stream it live on Zoom. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 All right. And everybody, you listen to Out and About Pod. It's the two biggest queens in Manhattan. Drunk. Or would you say, I don't know what was better. You said two high strung. Or uh, gay drug backwards. addicts. I don't know. I don't know which should be the tagline. Maybe you combine the both. It's but. a combination of problems. Upper Cocaine. We're cocaine. You guys are the best. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Thank you.
Thanks. All right, big thanks for watching. If you made it through this whole episode, that means you should be subscribed. There's so many of you out there who watch and don't subscribe, so make sure you are a KFC Radio subscriber. Make sure you get all the content when it drops. Click that button now. I have nine fingers. I'm still subscribed. It's that easy.